This show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Stop putting your online data at risk. Get protected at expressvpn.com slash funhouse. It's me, Lindsay, and John Holland. Hey. We're back because we know that y'all loved it so much. Last time that we were here doing woo-woo, watch us watch you. Is that still what it's called? I don't know. I I feel I feel like it is. I feel like it is. Okay. Woo woo. It's woo woo. woo. <laughs> we got a bunch of comments and some art, I think. So I was just gonna uh, read you some comments because we uh, did a Fallout 76 video not that long ago. It might have been mm-hmm. two months ago by now. This one's from Yura Exalga. Let's appreciate that John. They're talking about John Smith. John's father took his time and money to buy a deck of Pokemon cards so he could connect with his son and absolutely destroy him in the game. That sounds like what John would have um, been the spawn of somebody like that because I feel like that's something that John would do. That's a good for a uh, good father son moment destroying your kids. I believe Michael Jordan used to do that to his kids. He was like, I'm not going to ease off of them even though I'm the greatest on the planet. If we're playing one on one, I'm going to absolutely destroy my kids. Uh, and I think there's valuable lessons, even at 30-something years old for John, to get completely destroyed by his father. I've never played Fallout 76. Is it is it any good? It's broken as shit, man. It's like, because the whole point of Fallout and, like, the thing that makes it so great is, like, the, the awesome campaign and the story, right? Mm-hmm. And all the little side characters that you got to meet and the vats. And when Fallout 76, like, very first came out, like, none of that was in the game. There was no story. There was no, like, NPCs, I think and there's no vats. It's just like the <laughs> shell of the game and you can play it with other people. When we've been playing it, there's a story. Somebody has to lead it. It's okay, but there's still no vats. Did you ever play like the regular Fallout? I haven't played any of the Fallouts, although the game, it always looked oh. interesting to me, but not enough for me to be like, I'm gonna buy it and go play it. Um, but I just, I saw the comments of like, man, this game is broken. It's broken as shit and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, huh. That sounds like a very fun house game to play. Well, yeah, and that's why we played it. Um. I spawned inside of something. I also spawned inside of something. Yeah. We're trapped. <laughs> Why did you put us in this machine? You trapped us, John. Lindsay, don't don't fast travel to John. What? I, I'm looking at you. You're inside of a machine. Yeah. I see your gun sticking out. But in general, you should definitely play Fallout. Um, I, I started with Fallout 3. It was right before Fallout 4 came out. Um, so you should play it. It's really fun. Maybe wait until it goes on sale on Steam or something and pick it up and mm-hmm. then you can try it out. See if you like it. I'll put it in my Christmas card. Oh, and apparently you're the only one without ADD. So I guess there was a lot going on in that gameplay and you somehow managed to focus. Wait, what? Where did somebody say that? X die, kill, die, X. Thanks for being the only one without ADD, Lindsay. I remember that they were all doing something together at one point and I was like off by myself and I felt like, oh, I'm the one that not paying attention. Like I need to get there. But you know. Uh, we had a good time playing that game. And then Joshua Green says, Real Talk James would be rich as fuck if he made an OnlyFans. I know a lot of people with OnlyFans. I know a lot of people on OnlyFans and they don't do like, like lewd content, like nudes. Mm-hmm. They do, sorry, they don't do nudes. They just do like cute cosplay, like mm, with me. Like if James was on OnlyFans and he wasn't doing nudes, what kind of content do you think James would put on his OnlyFans? Something related to wrestling. Probably a lot of like weightlifting bodybuilding oh. type stuff, exercises, and Benson. Yeah, all people pay a lot of money to see Benson. Oh my God, he would be rich as fuck if he made an only, you're right. Joshua Green, you're right. Well, here's the thing, Lindsay, what's stopping us from making a Benson OnlyFans oh from underneath God. him? Do you think he could sue us? Because otherwise no, I'm doing no, it. No, no, I only have like no, four pictures from before the quarantine when I was in the office, but I feel like I can make a lot of money off those four pictures of Benson. Yeah, um, I could just Photoshop Benson doing anything, so I know what I'm doing next this weekend. And one more comment from the Fallout video. This was actually posted on the Rooster Teeth website where the videos go up a day early. Somebody said, I'm so, I'm sorry that you had to go to Catholic school, Lindsay. Well, it's okay. I went once in um, third grade and I went once in fifth grade, and I think I've already told this story in a video before, but I failed religion in fifth, ga- f- fifth grade Catholic school. I said, really? Cain and Abel, I don't know about that shit. And then I went to public school and like, look at me now. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I, I have never been to a religious school. Like what is the, I don't know, like why? Why be sent to it? When you could just like take your kids to church and they could learn the same thing for free. I mean, it's private school. So it's like, there's part of that is, you know, in the culture of it, I guess, of like, oh, we're religious and like, we're gonna send our kids to a private school and it's a Catholic private school. And I actually had like, um, 
a class that was like a religion class that you took as like one of your gen eds. Then every Monday morning we had to go to Monday morning mass. And I remember, oh my God, I hated that. I had to like learn to count the rosary. I, I went through, I got um, my first communion and then I was about to go through confirmation, which what you do is like preteen, I think. God, I remember. I failed. Going <laughs> straight to hell. You can always uh, go back. You can always go back to Catholic school. This episode is brought to you by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. HelloFresh lets you skip those trips to the grocery store and makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh cuts out the stressful meal planning, grocery trips, and all those things you have to do to make food for yourself at home, which is honestly probably the healthiest way and the most affordable way to do it. It makes cooking fun again, and it's gonna make sure that you're getting dinner on your table in about 30 minutes or less. Also, eating healthier has never been easier because you have low-cal options, carb-smart options, vegetarian and pescatarian options every single week. No matter what you choose, every single recipe is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need with customizable orders every single week. You can easily change your delivery days or food preferences, skip a week whenever you need. It's designed to fit your lifestyle no matter what that lifestyle is, no matter what kind of food you like. It's gonna be a personalized experience. Me personally, I've tried HelloFresh and I really like it. This is one of my favorites. I saved the recipe um, just in case I want to try and make it on my own, but it won't be as good because the ingredients won't be as nice, but it's the uh, cheesy chipotle barbecue quesadilla. I actually have some cheese still on there, um, but it was super delicious and it's a kind of recipe that I wouldn't think to make myself and I think that's what's so fun about it. If you're into cooking, you get to discover new things every single week. So if you like cooking, if you like eating well and you like saving money, go to hellofresh.com slash open house 10 and use code open house 10 for 10 free meals, including free shipping. That's hellofresh.com slash open house 10. Use code open house 10 and you get 10 free meals. Check out HelloFresh. It's America's number one meal kit. We know you're going to love it. Wieners and losers. Did I edit this one? I think I may have. Hold on. I got to click on the link and see. Oh yeah, I did. I don't Wieners know the schedule of anything anymore. Yeah, because uh, John was talking about the Oscar Mayer uh, vehicle and putting like rockets on it. Sherlock Watson 101. I'm slightly afraid to ask, but where is Jacob? I miss him. Jacob's still here? Jacob's hanging partying with us. Yeah, I feel like I, you know, I haven't edited a video with Jacob in it in actually a really long time now I think about it. I think the last time was like maybe a comments. Um, but Jacob would be busy. We all be busy. A while ago, he did the uh, Extra Life stream. He streamed at like 3 a.m. So he's here. He's doing the, the work for the kids. He's great. He's here. I'll pull him for more stuff. Just don't tell, don't tell Matt. Lemon Fiash says, wonder who would survive between the Funhouse crew and Survivor. Ryan. Would, Ryan. That's, I think yeah. you would survive, probably. You know how to cook meats and, you know, I feel like you might have that outdoor vibe. I can cook the meats, but like the catching, I actually think Peek would probably. Oh, Peek seems like he shoot. just yeah, he, can live would, off the grid and be probably happier than he is right now. <laughs> you might be right. I would die. You think you'd die by like a bite, like an insect bite or something like that? Oh yeah, like, like I would die just because like, I'd be like, I don't want to eat that. And then I'd die. <laughs> Jacob, bless his heart, he'd probably die with me. He's too tender and too precious. I think to survive on like a survivor island type of thing. I wouldn't trust John Smith for, for anything. Him and his, his sabotaging ways, absolutely not. He'd be like the island like court jester. <laughs> Let us know in the comments who you think would survive a uh, Funhouse Survivor. Here's some really cool fan art. I love this. I think I showed this on a stream once by <laughs> Manny B. Arana. It's oh, Elise nice. as like one of her characters from Arizona Circle. I didn't know she was such a good actress until I watched that series. Oh, everybody did great on that. This one is, oh, this is one of me. I've seen this one too on the Reddit. This is great. I'm so like nice. humbled. We were talking about this last time. Like, this would be a good one to hang up behind you on the wall. This is from a really old picture from like 2015. Mm. I think I had to do headshots for something. Oh, this is cool. Do yeah, I actually didn't notice set? that. Like I, I remember scanning through this earlier today and like, oh yeah, the, the empty dude soup thing. And then I didn't actually recognize that it's Legos. I want to try to do that. <laughs> I would probably stop at the chair and then that's about all I can make. James Ventura, yep. I, I put this one on the Reddit, or not on the Reddit, I put it on the live stream. Some of these I only show like during our broadcast like that I've shown in the past. Um, so mm -hmm. it's cool, like maybe some people on YouTube will get to check out this awesome fan art. Clive Tolney. Well, this, Clive Tolney does a bunch of movie posters. That's definitely going to be the first picture that goes on the, uh, the Benson OnlyFans because he's biting James's leg. What is this? Oh, this is that movie Emma. 
I don't know what that movie's about, though. I don't no. either, but you're in it, apparently. I'm in it, and Ryan and Don. For anybody wondering, <clears throat> Don is in every single episode of Comments, just off in the wings. So if you want to know where Don is, his spirit is always with us when we're yes. recording these. This yep. is really cool. Somebody did a 3D model of John. Like, this is awesome. I want one. Can someone do me? Yeah, we need two Johns. We need John Smith and John Holland. And then, if you have time, just only if you have time, if you're busy, I get. I don't need one. I'll take one. I want a bust. Man, that was a lot of Lindsay art in this. There's a lot of me today. Look at this. Lindsay Washburn as Lil. You know, and I don't know. Is this Attack on Titan? Do you know? I don't. I, I don't guess. Know. Attack on Funhouse, so I'm, I'm assuming we so. We don't know. Oh, this is cool. I've seen this too. Mm. Elisa in the shell. This one might be another. Yeah, Clive. There it is. Okay. Oh, Clive's been busy. Oh, yeah. There's Mr. Riddles and Globgo. Anything goes with Mr. Riddles. Mm-hmm. By Doomed Tango. <laughs> don't know what this is from, but it's cute. <laughs> I don't either, but I like it for some reason. <laughs> Sonic 4000. Slick John. These are really good. By Bat on Drugs. Yeah, these are dope. I gotta get I gotta get more videos so I can get more art. That's like the, the currency. The more I appear, there the you more go. someone will be like, you know what, I wanna draw that guy today. Yeah, I want like a I want like an ugly Picasso drawing of me. I mean I could do that. You want an ugly Picasso? <laughs> Alright, just hang on. Yep. Yep. Get a napkin and just go to work. <laughs> I see you making the circles and stuff. Yeah, I'm making the circles. Pre I'm pretty sure that's the man bun you're probably working on right now. Oh, this is great. This is like some of my best work ever. And then you've got to put it on the Reddit so then I can take it off the Reddit and put it in the next comments. Do I need any other final touches? No, this is good. Hey, I like that. I like it. It looks very, um, very Nickelodeon style. Like if you colored that in with some nice yeah. 90s colors, I'd yeah. love that. Picasso style. Yeah, I, I guess, dig it. My of. headphones. <laughs> well, that's it. You know, leave us more comments. If you want us to do a live comment show where you can call like on Discord or something, that might be goofy. Or maybe we can make a fake phone number and I'll just pick up the phone and be like, hello. And then maybe you won't even get to leave a comment and I'll just berate you. You let us know what yeah. you want in the comments. Ooh, us attacking the fans. Now that would be good. We can get yes. all, our, all our frustrations and get super defensive. I love it. 